Is this really Anko? Hey dears, what's good? Your boy Al is here with my dear friend Nokoten episode 10 review so let's move those booties. At first we see Koshi arrive at the Deer Club clubroom as the narrator announces the arrival of Spring. Inside, she finds Nokoten crying. Although Nokoten claims she doesn't know why she's crying, Koshi realizes it's due to allergies. Nokoten denies having allergies, but Koshi insists she does. Meanwhile, Niko, Kinu, and Chiharu watch them from a distance. Niko expresses her desire to disband the Deer Club, but then the allergen that affected Nokoten also impacts Niko. No, narrator San you didn't lie about the time loop thing, because this is like the fourth spring season we've seen so far, and they are still in their same school year. Koshi and Nokoten continue to argue, with Nokoten wanting to disband the Deer Club because Koshi won't admit she's right. After resolving their disagreement, Nokoten steps outside to wash off the pollen. When they return inside, Koshi suggests Nokoten wear glasses to prevent more pollen from getting in her eyes. Nokoten leaves and quickly comes back with goggles borrowed from the swim team. However, her antlers still itch, causing her to sneeze. Koshi gives her tissues, and Nokoten starts crying, feeling sorry for herself. Tsunoda and other deer hear her cries and come to the clubroom to comfort her, and Nokoten thanks them. Why are we doing Allergy 101 this episode, especially when most of them are just a bunch of myths? Also can someone tell me how such a small sigh echoed throughout the whole town? Nokoten plans to destroy the cedar trees in the area with her deer companions and recruits Niko to join her. Before they proceed with the plan, Koshi takes Nokoten to a vet and forces Niko to see the doctor as well. Suddenly, a piece of pollen lands on Koshi's nose, causing her to get the same sickness. The hospital staff suggests Koshi see the same physician too. What the hell, Nokoten? When did you turn into a Yandera? Also the world ain't against you, so stop doing a Code Geass reference. After some time, Koshi wonders why Nokoten hasn't appeared recently, and Anko feels the same way. Koshi suggests that she, Anko, and Bashim search for her. While walking through the school hallway, Koshi hears commotion coming from the Flower Arrangement Club and finds Nokoten sitting with the club's members. Koshi, stop being at Sundara, and just admit that you miss Nokoten a bit too much. Also looks like you know your deer quite well, because your instincts were spot on. The club leader asks Nokoten to demonstrate her flower arrangement technique, leaving Koshi confused but impressing the club members. Although Nokoten doesn't arrange any flowers, she names her technique Tsuno Toshika. After she and the leader evaluate a member's work, Nokoten pulls out a guitar, causing large plants behind her to come to life and try to devour the leader. Later, the leader tries to convince Nokoten to stay in their club, but Nokoten declines. She and Koshi return to the Deer Club, where Nokoten expresses her love for it above all other clubs. See Koshi, Nokoten won't leave you alone or betray your love, so be happy now. Also it must have taken quite the talent to do flower arrangements without flowers, right Nokoten? After some time, Basham asks Anko for help with her rice planting, but Anko refuses. Suchi enters the Deer Club, and Basham quickly enlists Suchi to assist her. Suchi meets Basham's expectations, and the two end up in a rice planting competition. Once they finish planting the rice, the competition concludes. Basham, there are tons and tons of food up there, but why do you only care about rice? Also why does a hornball know how to do farming? At the end we see Anko head outside, and she, Suchi, and Basham have lunch together. Basham and Anko chat about Anko's food preparation hobby. Unsure of her next step, Basham is encouraged by Anko to pickle some plums, an idea Basham likes. Basham expresses a desire to hold a rice ball party with pickled plums soon, and Anko asks if she can bring additional food items to the party. Honestly speaking, this was pretty wholesome, and I didn't expect Anko to have such a sweet side to her character. I mean can you really blame me when we only see her yandera and horny sides? Overall this was a decent episode. And some of the jokes made me laugh after a long time. 
Nevertheless, thanks for watching everyone. If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep me motivated to make more videos, and you can also leave a comment if you want to say something, because it helps me fight the almighty YouTube algorithm, you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page, links are given in the description, until then see ya.